Hey, you there! Yes, you! Do you want to know a secret? Well, I found something. Something really, really awesome. But I need help from somebody as tall and strong as you. How about it? I show you what I mean, and you promise to help me in return. What do you say? I'll show you in a moment, but first, you have to promise to help me. Come on, don't be a chicken. Awesome! I knew you'd say yes! Come, follow me! My damn. A foreigner, huh? What a surprise. <laughs> you just wait and see. yesterday when I was searching for shelves. Awesome, isn't it? Yes, and you know what? If you shake it, you can hear a rattling as if there are coins in it. All we need to do is break it open. Then we can split the loot. And I could give Daddy the money for the pointy beard man. So what do you think? I've already tried to open it, but it just won't budge. Yeah, that man from the big city, who always comes after a moon turn. He wants money from the farmers. Daddy says he works for this jank or Borg or something like that. Yeah, I think so. He always tries to make us think everything is okay, but I'm not stupid. And maybe there are enough pennies in this box for Daddy to pay the pointy beard man. Who knows? Sure. that there aren't any pennies only these weird nails and a piece of paper here take a look for yourself Does it say anything? A poem? Hmm, what if it's a riddle? That's what you grown-ups call it, don't you? What does it say exactly? A blessing in distress? That... Hmm... Oh, sugar, why do you grown-ups always have to talk so complicated? That is... Hmm... Wait... Father Vildas, the priest, he always talks about blessings at the sermons. Maybe, maybe the writer is talking about the shrine, the one behind our house. Quickly, you should go take a look over there. I have to go back to the farm to feed the leers, 
but tell me at once if you find anything. This is getting really confusing. Maybe we should just take a look around. What do you think? We were right about the shrine, so maybe the next clue is also hidden somewhere near here. I'll wait right here.
much was it? I get one half, you get the other. I have to remember that. Um, uh, who are you? A uh, yellow. I. I uh, this is about his death, isn't it? Uh, uh, the rampage. Of course, who hasn't? Yero was one of us, after all. It is... terrible. Simply terrible. Uh, you want to hear an old man's opinion, though? I... I always expected that something like this would happen. Malthus, forgive me for talking about a keeper like that, but... it's the truth. Hard to explain, really. Come on, uh, let's find somewhere to sit. Uh, it'll be easier to talk that way. Well, Yero. Yero. 
That's quite a subject, you know. You were right when you said we were best friends. Our fathers knew each other. For as long as I can remember, Yarrow and I were getting into trouble together. At least, until his mother died. No. Bandits killed her in broad daylight on, on Penny Road. Today these incidents are common, but not back then. The road was considered safe. Very safe. She was on her way to Ark, accompanied by three other women, and they were set upon at the pass. None of them survived. Yarrow was shattered. I think the worst part was how his father went downhill after his wife's death. The fishery decayed, and the poor guy filled his days with boozing and sleeping. It changed Yarrow forever. Well, that's a good question. On the one hand, he became a man, despite his tender age. On the other hand, something inside him woke up, so to speak. A desire to make more of his life. Old Mother Jenica noticed it and took him under her wing. He learned how to read and write, and soon he knew all the holy verses by heart. When he didn't have to help his drunken father, he helped in the village as much as he could. Indeed, that's one way to look at it. It wasn't long before he was the, the jewel of the village. The striving young fisherman destined for great things, even though he was only on the path of a manufacturer. And then, the inevitable happened. A keeper of the order came to Riverville to see the prodigy with his own eyes. And behold, in addition to Yarrow's ingenuity, he also had a slumbering, magical talent. The Keeper took him away, and a few months later, he started his novitiate. Since then, I've only seen him once or twice, as he rarely visited Riverville. I, I don't think he ever noticed how much that hurt me. <laughs> if one of the manufacturers makes it to Sergeant of the Guard, it's reason enough for a bard song. He must have been the first novice in centuries who was not of the sublime path. So yes, sir, it is uncommon. More than that. Oh, it's hard to explain. I believe it was the way he was talking about his grand plans. How he wanted to make the world a better place, to become the greatest keeper since Lorem Waterblade. Underneath all this, there was a... there was an anger. An anger mixed with deep grief and disappointment. Uh, I don't think he was aware of it because he drew all his strength from that anger. The strength to do all this, to, to learn and to work day and night, but... It frightened me, like the Blue Death. It slumbers inside the pathless mage who believes he can master magic without the Order's help. At first, it grants power, but then, one day, it bursts out in an unholy wave of destruction, turning him into one of the monsters in the old songs. <sighs> I'm just an old man. What do I know about these matters? Now let me go to sleep, my dame. All these memories are making me weary. Yes, of course.
Evening. Please, sit down. It's a pulp. Huh? Can I help you? Welcome. Welcome. I, there is. It may not be the palace of the Golden Queen, but it is comfy, lice free, and affordable. What do you say? Wonderful. I'll open up the room for you. Sleep soundly. Safe travels. And a stable boy. And now brace yourself. He was dressed up as a priest. By the seven. This is scandalous. Help. Told you this. The miller's wife. She knows someone who knows someone whose fifth cousin worked at the inn that night. Huh. Well, if she said it, it must be true. Sad to see what men have become these days. On the surface, they pray each day, do their work, and honor the righteous path. But if you look away for just one second, things go down like in a Karanian brothel. My words exactly. Sad times we live in. Sad times. But what can a simple woman do? Nothing. <sighs> anyway, I have to get going. Good to see you. You should come by for a cup of tea someday. I will. Walk west. I just don't see the fucking point. <laughs>